Welcome once again to the Underground Cookery School video podcast. Um, today we're going to make a risotto and we're also going to make a stock. Now I'm going to make an enormous one because I have lots of duck bones. So the first thing I'm going to do is just roast these bones off. So now the duck bones are in the oven, I'm just going to stick the stock pot on. A uh, little bit of olive oil, just to grease the bottom of the pan. I'm going to add the mirepoix, carrots, celery, leek, onion and some garlic. So all of those are going to go straight into the pan. Um, and those are just going to poach off lightly for uh, probably the next um, seven or eight minutes. Um, what I'm also going to add to the stock is a bouquet of herbs or a bouquet garni. So what I have are some flat leaf parsley, some rosemary, some thyme and a bay leaf. Um, and those uh, can actually go straight on top of the lovely soft poached veg. Now just to add an extra layer of flavour and because I have it, I've got some Prosecco from last night. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that and just let that gently cook away um, for the next 10 or 15 minutes. So what we're going to do now is uh, take those bones out of the oven. They've been in there for a while. Just add those duck bones to the nicely um, poached vegetables. So in they go. So I'm going to take all of those ingredients and I'm just going to cover them with water. That is how a stock should look. And I'm going to take these over to the hob. I'm going to bring it up to the boil. Um, then we're going to drop it down to a gentle simmer for about two and a half hours. What I'm going to do is show you how to dice an onion and garlic. Uh, cut the onion in half and keep the root, which is going to hold everything together. And just peel off the outer skin as much as you dare. My nails aren't particularly long, so I'm going to take off perhaps a little more than I should. Um, dig your fingers into the board. Use that part of your finger as a pivot. Take the end bit off. And what we're going to do is cut almost to the end, but not quite. And I'm going to do this as slow as I can, just so that you can see what I'm doing. And try and keep the slicing as close to each other as possible. When you get to about there, hold it together, carry on. And what we're going to do is go through once, twice, and then a third time. If I go over the top now, you end up with reasonably consistent dice. I'm going to do that again with the garlic in a second. I'm just going to put that pan on the hob and I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. What I'm going to do now is start to fry off the onion. I'm not going to fry off the garlic yet because the garlic is obviously much smaller. Actually, just to save my bacon, I'm going to take some Prosecco and put that in. That serves two purposes. It's, it's going to mean that whilst I'm not stirring the onion, uh, the onion won't burn, uh, but it will also add an extra layer of flavour to that. Um, the stock's been on for two hours. Um, ordinarily, what I would do is pass all of that through a sieve, but it is a huge stock and I don't particularly um, want to uh, have to go through the rather laborious task in front of you of doing that. So I'm just going to take ladles of stock out, pass it through um, a fine uh, sieve, just do one more and then that should do us. Um, those onions are now beginning to cook off quite nicely. I'm just going to turn up the heat and just combine that and don't worry, you can stay where you are like you're going to move, you're watching, you know, in your office or something. Anyway, if you have a look, most of the wine has now um, reduced down um, and I think now is an absolutely perfect time to put in the garlic. So this will cook in literally seconds and whilst it's cooking we're getting rid of pretty much all the alcohol. So again you can have a pretty good idea of that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just add the rice um, this is Arborio rice, uh, which has got a very high starch content. Um, 
It's um, or sometimes referred to as risotto rice, but I'm just going to fry that off in the olive oil and the onion. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more, and don't worry, cookery lovers, I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like now. Right, that, that goes back on the hob. As you can see, that stock's now come up to the boil, and we now have our risotto kit ready for cookery. I'm now going to ladle hot stock from this pan into here. I will continue uh, just ladling a hot stock into the rice. The stock will be absorbed by the rice, and in about 10 or 15 minutes time, I'll just sort of keep having a taste of it. As soon as I'm happy that I've got a nice al dente bite to the rice, um, we'll take it off and plate up. So about 20 minutes has passed, and um, that uh, rice has now cooked beautifully. Right, what I also did whilst you were away was, um, uh, or rather when I was, I was editing, you, weren't, you haven't been anywhere, have you? I've been beavering away for 20 minutes. I took the asparagus and I put it in the stock because that was hot and just cooked it through. Um, and here's the thing with the risotto, once you've got the main dish, whatever you add to it, you need to cook in advance. If you're roasting off the chicken, slice it up and add it to it, um, you know, whatever it is, you get the basic idea. So what we're going to do now is plate up. So I've got, um, got the risotto here, I'm just going to put this in the dish. Um, I'm going to add the asparagus. Whenever you cut stuff, try always to cut on the angle, which I've done there. So we're going to add those spears. Um, a little bit of um, olive oil, just to make it nice and shiny. Um, over here, I've got a little bit of rocket. So I'm just going to add a little olive oil to that. Um, again, we're just, we're not, I'm not going to put much on but uh, just a bit of extra, again, as I said, just to give it a bit more height. And then finally, a few shavings. The parmesan, there we go. Black pepper goes on, and the dish is complete. And there you have a risotto of asparagus with rocket parmesan.